Let's talk about planes of movement. Let's talk about how they divide the body and how and what movements happen in each plane, All right? Most of us are pretty familiar with the planes, right? We have our um, frontal slash coronal plane, we have our sagittal plane and our transverse plane. And we're familiar with how they divide the body. But instead of thinking of it as a line, think of it as like a piece of plexiglass. Now imagine this is a nice solid piece of plexiglass rather than a little piece of plastic because, well, this is what I have right now, so bear with me. But let's look at the frontal plane first. Here's a body, right? Now imagine we cut him in half just like this, all right? Now, if you look at the edge of the frontal coronal plane, right, you're going to see the line. You're going to see the divide, and it divides the body into front and back, anterior and posterior. But if you want to see movement in the plane, if you want to understand what movement happens in that plane, you need to look at the plane like you're watching it on TV. So now you're going to shift your view, and you're going to look at it straight on, right? You're going to see movement like this. You're going to see movement in the frontal plane by watching it on TV. So you're going to see abduction and adduction, like you're doing jumping jacks, right? You're going to see lateral flexion. You can see people side bending. You can see elevation and depression of the scapula. You can see lateral tilt or elevation of the, of the pelvis, right? If you come over here to the sagittal plane, now we're going to cut them in half like this. Let's say this is the mid-sagittal, right down the middle. All right, now you get left and right sides. You get medial, closer to the line, closer to the middle, lateral, further away. All right, that's looking at the edge of the plane. If you want to see movement in the sagittal plane, shift your view so now you're watching it on TV. All right, and you're going to see movement from the side. So you're going to see mostly flexion and extension in the sagittal plane. Anterior and posterior tilt is something you can see in the sagittal plane. How about protraction and retraction of the mandible? All right. Um, transverse, transverse plane. Now we're going to come in and cut them down like this, right through there. Now you're going to see, if you look at the edge of the transverse plane, you're going to see the line, right? You're going to see your split into upper and lower halves. You can have superior and inferior. But if you want to see movement in the transverse plane, shift your view so now you're looking down and watching it on TV. And what are you going to see from this angle? You're going to see rotation. You're going to see rotation of the spine. You're going to see rotation of the torso here. You're going to see medial and lateral rotation of the arms and legs. You're going to see horizontal abduction and adduction in the transverse plane. So if you look at the edge of the planes, you're going to see the divide. Okay, if you look, if you want to see movement in the plane, imagine you're watching them on TV. All right, I hope that helps.